Hey everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Lodge, and today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we are going to be doing some Valentine's Day coasters, and it's going to have resin and glitter. I mixed two ounces of the clear resin, and I'm just going to pour it right into two of the coaster cavities. Here we go. Just clear resin, that's it. I'll take my lighter and pop the bubbles. I'll let that sit a minimum of 12 hours before I come back. Our resin has cured, so I'm going to pop these right out. And we're going to work on these some more out of the mold. Now, if you had watched my video last week, I used this heart stencil. And we're going to use it again, but we're going to use it in a different way. Last week we stenciled on cork, and this week we're going to stencil, but not just like regular stencil. We're going to stencil onto this resin. And I'm going to use my Mod Podge. I'm going to dip my brush into the Mod Podge. And I'm just going to put it over. And I'm, I'm not using a stencil brush. I'm just using a regular paintbrush. And I just want to make sure I don't jam it underneath the stencil. So you just kind of want to be a little bit careful about it. And you could probably freehand your heart. That would probably look pretty good too. The Mod Podge probably won't be perfectly uniform everywhere. And I think that's probably okay too. All right, I'm going to start with the red. And I'm using a fine red glitter. I'm going to tap it down just a little bit. I'm going to remove the stencil. And then I'm going to shake off any excess. And this is what I figured would happen. It would get around in different places, which again, I didn't think would be terrible. So what I'm really going to do is just put it everywhere. So at least if we're going to have stray glitter, it's going to be everywhere. Maybe it'll look like the heart sort of threw off some extra glitter. So I'll shake off the excess again. And I'm going to just set this aside to dry. It's not going to adhere itself permanently to these areas, just where the Mod Podge is. Now I'm going to do the gold. And I'm going to take it off, put the gold on there, and again I'm putting it all over because why not. And there's this one. So again, set it aside to dry and let everything dry completely. Once everything's dry, go ahead and take a soft paintbrush and brush off the excess. And you're not going to get every bit off, no matter how much you try. So get as much as you can off. A lot of this is on the back. And now you've got this cute heart. And I already did the gold. And now I'm going to prep some resin. I have two more ounces of resin. I'm going to pour it right on. Okay, I'm going to move it to the edges. Now I'm going to take my lighter, pop the bubbles, let that sit for a while, come back, pop them again. Alright, so you don't want to bump the table or anything, just let it sit for 12 hours and then we'll be back. Here are the coasters all finished and here's the gold one. And the gold heart isn't quite perfect. I picked up the stencil after I Mod Podged and before I poured on the glitter. So my edges aren't quite as perfect. It still looks good, but they're not quite perfect. And then here's this one, which is a little bit closer to perfect. So there's the front, there's the back. So there you go. I hope you like them. Again, a nice festive look for Valentine's Day. Also, you could customize the colors and have it for a wedding. And it could be like a wedding favor if you wanted to make some for wedding favors or, or maybe just even for like the head table or something like that. I hope you guys like the Glitter Heart Coasters, and I hope you give them a try. After all, glitter is a beautiful thing. I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.